Hi there and welcome back to the Lally. In today's video, we take a look at how to interface the WS2812B individually addressable RGB LEDs with an Arduino. So let's take a look at what is inside the package. In the package, there is a spare clip that allows us to extend our LED strip and the LED strip itself. Behind is a sticky material that allows you to stick your LED strip on any surface. So this is what it looks like up close. The black thing in there is what allows the individual addressing of the RGBs to change their colors. Note that to cut any piece of these RGBs for some purpose, you would have to cut right on the exposed copper lines, else you risk damaging the circuit. On both ends, there is the same number of wires with the same colors, except there is a female and there is a male connector. So the female allows for the extension of the LED strip. In case you have another set of the LED strip, you just need to plug that male into this female and that will extend the number of LEDs you have. This end with the arrow, with the D in, is the part you connect to your Arduino and this is the male end. The red and white lines are your power lines. The red is the positive line and the white is the negative line. Same goes for the red and white lines here. The green line in the middle is the data line. That is the line that goes to your Arduino. The WS2812B LED strips uses 5 volts and consumes approximately 5 watts. This is well above the capabilities of your Arduino. So it's advisable to use a separate power source for these. And in our case, we'll be using this 5 volts, 5 watts power brick. This will work very well. You also make sure that you connect the grounds of both power supplies together. So the ground of your Arduino and the ground of your power supply for the LED strip is together. So let's go ahead and connect it to our Arduino. First, we have to hook up the white line, which is the ground line, to the ground of the Arduino. We do that by using a male to male jumper to the ground line. Next, we hook up the green line, which is the data line, to digital pin 3 on the Arduino through a 470 ohm resistor. Next, we'll hook up the power supply of the LED. We'll use this old USB cable. We'll connect the red line to this red line and we'll connect the black line to the white line. We'll connect this to our power brick and then from there we can proceed to program our Arduino. First thing we want to do is install the fast LED library, which is the library we'll be using to control our RGB LEDs. So let's go to sketch and then go to include library, manage libraries. And then in the search window here, we enter fast LED. So the one we are looking for is this one fast led by daniel garcia so we install once that is done installing we can close this window and then we can head to file examples and then we look for the fast led examples so this is it right here fast led so you can see by, by default there's a number of options that are available for you this is my favorite though color palette so we'll go ahead and select that but we have to make some changes to it so over here you see the led type is ws2811 but we have the 12 and the led pin we are using is pin 3 and the number of leds on our led strip is 30 leds if you have more leds connected to this end that is if you've extended the length and number of your leds you go ahead and count all of it and then add that 
per meter so this this one is a 30 leds one if you have another 30 leds one and you lock it onto this it becomes 60 led so you go ahead and write 60 led the maximum brightness is 256 but we'll go ahead and leave this as 64 for now we'll come back and tweak some of these things when you are done with that the rest of the code is pretty much intact so we just leave it as it is and then we'll go ahead and upload this don't forget to check tools and make sure you've selected the right board and then the right port for your Arduino we are going to change the brightness to the maximum let's go for it 255 and notice how bright the LEDs are going to get after that so you notice the LEDs got a lot brighter so if you want the colors to change a lot more slowly you just have to decrease this number so let's try decreasing this number to say 10% of um, what it is currently doing and let's see the effect on the LEDs and by making it that slow to 10 you will notice that the transitions are not as smooth as it was initially and you will notice how the LEDs move along slowly let's go ahead and look at what other examples exist so over here we'll go to examples go down to fast led and let's select blink this time around so when we increase um, the window first we see the library being called here and then we see the number of leds so we have 30 leds so we'll go ahead and write 30 here and then we'll proceed downwards where we'll see the data pin so we are using the digital pin 3 um, we are not using a clock pin so we would go ahead and comment this out you can also just leave that in the code which will not affect anything but for now we don't need it so we'll just go ahead and comment it and then we'll go down to this part of the code so we don't have the new pixel version of the LED strip so we'll comment out this one and then look for hours here so we'll go ahead and uncomment this you can see here in the line of code that it says RGB but then there is also the GRB arrangement of the LEDs unfortunately ours is the GRB version but you can see RGB was um, written here in the code we will come back and change it but first let's see what not changing this to the correct GRB order can affect our code down here you realize that in the void loop this time around the code is a lot simpler note that this code just changes the just the very first led on this line of led so this one this very one just this very first one so all it does is it's it's supposed to turn the led on make it red and then turn it off because black is obviously the led is going off so let's upload this but just one is blinking and it is blinking the color green but in the code we selected red this time around you notice that the the led changes to red this is the modified blink code that we were using to blink the red led earlier we removed the other parts that we do not need and now we are left with fast led dot h the number of leds the data pin we are using um, the led um, array and then the initialization of the library and then we have here the for loop inside the void loop so the for loop basically allows us to set all leds individually and then use the fast led dot show to let the led show what color they've been set to in their buffers so let's go ahead and upload it and see the change let's go ahead and change this color red to say yellow don't forget to type your colors with the first um, letter being a cap go ahead and make changes of your own and do cool stuff with this rgb led strip if you learned something here today kindly give us a thumbs up if you are new to this channel Kindly subscribe to stay in touch on how to build more cool stuff. See you next time.